It is that magical time of the year where Valorant Champions has a new song out. And it's the theme each and every year for them to release a new song to celebrate in the tradition that World set years ago. Hi, my name is David Shinock. I'm a League of Legends player, LOL Esports fan. I put out a bunch of content around League of Legends. If you enjoy the game, be sure to drop a follow. But for the Valorant people that are new around here or might be just seeing this video for the first time, welcome. I have a lot of respect for your music. I really do. Last year, I watched Ticking Away for the first time. It was the first time that I've like experienced a Valorant Champion song, and honestly, it blew away my expectations. I never ended up going back to listen to Die For You, which I probably should have. But at the end of the day, you guys have like a very specific kind of sound that I like to hear, which I honestly, I don't think we really get in League of Legends, but it's also partially a good thing because I think League has kind of fallen into the trap of having like similar sounding songs for a little bit now. And in a year where music has been incredible, we have the Drake versus Kendrick feud, you have Metro Boomin releasing albums, Sabrina Carpenter sticking over the charts, The Weeknd is now teasing his comeback. There is no shortage of good, specifically hype music. Diss tracks are the nature of that. It's just been a lot of high energy this year, in addition to obviously like the Chappelle Rones and some of the other like indie artists kind of like taking more of the mellow approach, but even then it's more like upbeat pop. So I'm curious to see if the Valorant song this year holds up to the elevated status that modern music is at right now. We'll see. No more beating around the bush. Now, obviously, I'm not going to get all the references to the game itself. I don't play Valorant. I'm a 100 Thieves fan, so I might be able to recognize some players, maybe. But even then, I don't watch, like, all the 100 Thieves Valorant matches, so we'll see how this goes. I just want a good song more than anything. Gonna need something. Alright, hold up. Let's back it up a little bit. I'm gonna need English subtitles. Okay, wait, that is English? Nope. Alright, we'll back it up a little bit. Okay, so that's where the title comes in. Alright, not gonna lie, don't know if this is gonna be controversial, but I also don't want to, like, hold back my opinions on this. Uh, definitely has that Riot sound to it. Like, if you compare this to Gods from last year's World's Anthem, uh, I know that Valorant Champions is in Seoul, Korea this year. So I think it makes sense. I'm assuming Kiss of Life is a K-pop band. I'm not sure who Mark Twan is. You know what? Let me not be ignorant. Yes, Kiss of Life, Kiss of Life is a K-pop group. Kind of figured so. Mark Twan is an American rapper, but he's in the K-pop group GOT7. Okay, got it. That makes sense. So obviously, this song is going to be more designed for a K-pop audience than like an American uh, kind of like not even pop on it, just like an American sound. And it's not hitting me as hard as it did last year. Like, I just think last year's song was absolutely incredible. But we'll see. We'll see what they kind of build towards. It just, for now, it just has that Riot, like, classic sound, which, like, once you hear a few of them, you kind of, like, get used to it. Okay, that was definitely three players, but I do not recognize any of Catchy is all K-pop, obviously is.
Uh, maybe this is just me being like a league player, and not a Valorant player. The storyline is nowhere near as like bluntly, like in your face obvious as it was last year. I know I'm comparing a lot to last year, but it's the only like point of reference I have whenever like I'm struggling to connect with the story of this as much. It just kind of feels like everything's kind of being thrown at you. Like I obviously recognize all, like I know Brimstone, like just going back. I, I don't know who that one is. I'm guessing he's doing but like I know Cypher, I know Jet, I know Brent. Like I, I can recognize like the agents themselves, but like I don't know. Like maybe these are like specific plays from Valorant Champions past that they're highlighting and like animating. But when you don't watch the esport, like that doesn't come across as clear. Whereas like Lashers is obviously like a story of like a guy that you know comes from nothing and like works his way up to be being an esports pro, which is going to be more friendly to somebody who's not endemic to the scene. But let's close this out. Those have to be plays. Maybe, maybe I'm being, maybe I'm being too harsh. The comments are all good, obviously. Like, I, I just, surely I'm not losing it, right? Like, I mean, I'm familiar with the song now, so, like, I, I get that I'm going to be more biased towards, but, like, You know what? I think I know what it is. Hang on. Alright, let's get winning. Losing. Yeah, that's it. Yep. So the biggest difference for me between ticking away and superpower is the fact that I felt like Grabbit's kind of like let the instrumental like do the talking more. And also the instrumental was like, even though it still is like very loud and obnoxious and in your face, I feel like that's a very like valorant thing to do of like the instrumentals, like very deep cutting, very hard hitting. But at the end of the day, you need somebody that's able to ride smoothly upon that. Because you like if the instrumental is going to be really really hard, you can't have the voice overpowering because then it just it all sounds cluttered. But I feel like the instrumental on this one in particular is like way harder than some of the other ones, or like way more bombastic in a way. And also the like the I don't know the singing doesn't just kind of like ebb and flow with it. It's like it, it's right there hitting you over the face with it as well. I'm not gonna like. As good as a song as I'm sure this will be, especially for the K-pop crowd who gets a lot of good representation here with Kiss of Life and Mark Twan, for me at least, I hate to say that it didn't hit, but it didn't hit. And that just is what it is. And that's fine. Everybody's going to have their different tastes in music and different things that uh, pop off. But again, in a year where like diss tracks are at their fullest and it feels like, I don't know, anthemic music is at an all-time high. To me, this doesn't feel like it matched the moment. This felt like a video game song for sure, rather than something that lives up to the hype of, you know, it's not like us or Euphoria, etc. I don't know. Like, well, all those songs just hit really hard. Anyways, that's it for me. Uh, Valorant community, if I made you mad with this one, sorry. Just being honest with my opinion. I'm sure you'll get a chance to roast me whenever the world's anthem comes out, but hopefully we get a good one. We will see. Who knows? I'll catch y'all later. Adios.